What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. Um, so I've mentioned a few times, I even wore a shirt once, that I had started with Postmates. Um, I decided, since this was the Uber strike weekend, I was going to go all out. I ran Postmates and Uber simultaneously, just to see what Postmates was all about. Um, this is not going to be a good review video for Postmates. It's not. Um, however, I'm going to give them another shot. I'm going to give it another try because it just, it was bad. It was, it was very, very bad. Now I'll go into that and I'll try to keep it somewhat short. Um, not good at all guys. Um, but I am going to try it again. Maybe it was just an off night. I'm hoping it was just, you know, you ever have one of those days where things are just off, everything's out of balance. That's kind of how that went. Okay, so with Uber, I did great. No issues with Uber. Um, I would get a Postmate run in between, and I'd shut Uber down and, you know, go take care of the Postmate. My very first run, or delivery, I guess, um, I get an order for Wendy's. Um, you know, just a couple miles away from where I was actually located, you know, cruising around looking for a ping anyway. Um, so... In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I don't think there's any Wendy's open at 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, it wasn't. I get to the Wendy's, and it's closed. This is my first time using Postmates, guys. I'm looking in the app for a cancel, you know, like Uber has. You know, some way to cancel and say, hey, can't do it, or to, no, nothing. So I have to push a button and wait for job support to call me. Yes, they have a customer support line that actually calls and talks to you. Now, that part I love. The problem is... Um, while these people are waiting on their order, and I'm texting them, letting them know that it's closed, and I'm trying to cancel their order for them, the customer can't cancel either. Only job support can cancel the order. I had to wait almost 20 minutes sitting in the Wendy's parking lot trying to get this order canceled. I had to wait 20 plus minutes for job support to call me and cancel the, the order. So the people decide now they want Taco Bell. So they place another order, and since I'm already in that area... I get the run. No problem. Taco Bell, usually open, very late. Not so much 4 o'clock in the morning. But Postmate sends me. Here's the thing. I was on 36th. I mean, even if you're not familiar with my area, you can figure this out. I was on 36th and North May. They send me to a Taco Bell... Postmates actually sends me to the Taco Bell on something like 63rd and North May. Okay? Well, guess what? I get there and they're closed. So, somebody in my Oklahoma City group, my Oklahoma City Postmates group says, Hey, there's a Taco Bell on 23rd and North May. 23rd. I was already at 36. I was right there. I didn't even know there was a Taco Bell there. <laughs> Oklahoma City is a very, very spread out city. Really hard to know where everything is all the time, okay? Very, very spread out. Um, I was already there. They could have just sent me to that one. So I had to contact job support. Again, wait about 20 minutes. But while I was waiting, I went ahead and went to the other Taco Bell because I'm not trying to make these people wait. Um, get to the other Taco Bell. There's like six cars in line. You know, no big deal, right? Right? No big deal? I spent almost a full hour sitting in the parking lot, sitting in drive through I was unable to back out because I had cars behind me. Couldn't go forward because I had cars in front of me. Do you know how bad I wanted to just, I wanted to be done. I spent almost the entire hour in drive through I finally get their order, and I'm flying because you're supposed to get their order to them within an hour, flying to their location. I get there, it was an apartment, not easy to find because, you know, big apartment complex, you've got to run around and try to figure out which building the number, you know. Um, okay, you know, whatever. It's cool. I find, the, I find the apartment. The door's cracked. I knock on the door. Nobody answers. Okay. I send a text message. Nobody answers. Last resort is I call. Nobody answers. <laughs> so... I go back to my car, push the button to contact job support, and, you know, again, proceed to wait. Eventually, 10, 15 minutes later, a lady comes out, takes her order, 
disappears. I was pretty frustrated um, because for that order, I got paid uh, five bucks. Five bucks. Now, I later found out I got a $3 tip and a five-star rating. So I got $8 to sit at Taco Bell for almost a full hour. Basically, that $8 paid me for two separate runs. Wendy's, which was closed, so I had to drive to Wendy's, figure out their clothes, wait for job support, then get a run to Taco Bell, go to that Taco Bell to find out it was closed, then go to another Taco Bell, wait in line for almost an hour, then go back north to deliver the food to them, which they weren't there, then had to sit. I, I got I got paid eight bucks for that. I emailed them and asked them about the mileage because I had to drive further um, because the one they actually sent me to was closed. So they did total reimburse me for all of it, $11. For probably an hour and 30, hour and 40 minutes and all the running around and idling that I had to do sitting in drive through and what a pain. Okay, I chalk it up to just a bad experience. Let's try it again. This time, one of the guys in my Oklahoma City Postmates group was like, hey, you know, I know you're having a rough time. I got an easy order for you if you want it. You know, get closer to where I'm at, and I'll request the order. I was like, ah, oh, shoe in easy. I'll do it. You know, why not? Not doing anything anyway. I could use a good experience. Um, this guy orders. I get the run. It's to Burger King. He wants uh, three, like, junior junior something. I'm not that familiar with Burger King. Some kind of junior burgers and a junior chicken something or other from Burger King. Now, granted, at 4 or 4 something in the morning, they may, not, they may not like it, but Burger King is supposed to sell burgers all day, lunch all day. So I get to Burger King, and I'm excited because this is an e this is going to be an easy run. Well, so uh, the guy comes on. I tell him what I want, and he says, oh, I'm sorry. It's breakfast. And I said, well, I understand that, that it's breakfast, but Burger King sells lunch all day. Oh, yeah, well, our broiler's down for maintenance won't be back up for at least 30 to 40 minutes. So I get in touch with the guy. We have to call job support, wait for them to cancel that order. Then he says he'd like Whataburger. I was waiting to accept the run to Whataburger when I realized my PEX card. PEX card is basically the card you use. It's a company credit card that you use to buy everything through Postmates. Um, any food, anything that the customer wants, you buy it with that card so it doesn't come out of your pocket. Lost the card. Where it could have gone, I have no idea. Because it was in my car the whole time. Never got out of my car. I searched my car. PEX card is gone. Flew out the window. I don't know. Anyway, needless to say, since the PEX card was missing, done. Went home. Finished. Aggravated. Horrible night doing Postmates. My biggest, my biggest issue with them right now Granted, they're new in this area, but they should have a more reliable menu, okay? It should know when places are closed and know when places are open. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one that they have sent on a wild goose chase looking for a restaurant that's open because the ones they've sent you to are closed. That is huge bug. Huge bug, huge waste of time, waste of gas, and not good for the customer, not good for the driver. Um, so as of right now, not the best review, not very happy with it, but job support, you know, you can actually talk to someone, that's nice. Um, and in theory, I think this app, once it grows a little bit and they work out some of the kinks, I think this will be a good deal. And I'm going to stick with it, I'm going to try it again, and uh, we'll see where it goes. I'll, I'll continue making update videos regarding Postmates. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, be safe out there and Uber on.